All right, guys. Good morning. This is Miss Wilson. I am going to tell you about your project today um, using Screencastify. So I am recording this video um, to kind of let you know what you're going to be doing. So your directions say, please see the example that I posted. So in the same attachment, you can click and see the theme example. So I chose to show you an example from the Crucible because I know that we have all read the Crucible. So as I'm explaining this assignment, I'm going to be moving back and forth between these two documents. Um, it says you must complete two of the tables. However, you can do all four for the possibility to earn some additional points. So you have four different topics to choose from. You have to write about two. So your topics are the American dream, love and marriage, wealth and social class, and superficial self versus true self. I said that if you did more than two, you could earn some extra points. Um, it's not extra credit points, but what I will do is I will use those points and put them in place if you have some missing assignments. Um, I cannot change your quiz grades. But just those daily assignments, if you filled out one of these blocks completely and accurately, I could give you the 10 points from that and I could put it for your missing assignment. Um, some things that you need to remember is that you will write the theme statement for each of the topics. So right here, you can see it says theme statement and that is where your theme statement will go for each of the topics. Um, remember that the theme is what the author wanted to say about the topic throughout the novel. You have to give two quotes with page numbers. Lots of us are forgetting on things to include the page numbers. So this would be quote one would go here and quote two would go here. So if you look at my example, I have two quotes from the crucible. So here I have my theme statement, and here I have my two quotes with page numbers. The last thing that you would have to do is you would have to explain how each theme statement goes with the text evidence. So how does your text evidence support that theme statement that you selected? So these are the two documents that you can use. This one right here is where you will type your work. And then this one right here is a good example of what the writing should look like. This is due Friday at midnight. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions.